Welcome guys to another haul video. Wow, this is actually my first DH gate um, haul ever. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to do one again because I've actually had a load and load of problems. But we have a massive DHL package full of t-shirts and we also have a pair of Yeezys to unbox. Let's get in this way. First, we're going to have to go with the Yeezys, okay? These, this Yeezy box, way too small um, than the real one. Um, but it doesn't matter. These Yeezys are really, really good quality. I got the triple white Yeezys. Um, these are absolutely amazing. They, they, they smell okay. They smell really like they, they do really smell. But you know, don't really bend. You know, the Boost really, really nice, nice feel. The cream whites, they're just so nice. Getting into the big, big. Big DHL parcel. Um, the Yeezys cost me about 40, 40 pounds, and I also put um, DHL shipping onto it, which was another forty pounds. So they cost me eighty pounds altogether. Um, they're really, really nice on Yeezys. Um, in the bag, we have a Supreme. Sor we have two Supreme Swarovski um, crystal T-shirts. We have two. We should have two um, white and black. CDG uh, bo split box logo t-shirts and we all should also should have a Supreme X North Face t-shirt From the pictures the seller has given me the ones that he shipped me. Um, they are not very good I'm gonna try my best to get my money back But some of the stuff that he did send me uh, we did not agree on so I have contact DHL and uh, not DHL um, DH gate and I said can I have my money back and stuff because because it's not what we agreed on. But here are the t-shirts. They, here they are. Here they all are. They're they're all in. They're all in packs. Um. So as I said, I bought a um, Supreme Swarovski. I bought a white and a black. As you know, <coughs> sorry. As you know, I also bought one from H for Hype. If you want me to do a comparison video, um, tell me in the comments below. I, I really want to do one, but let's get into it. Um, mm, which one should we do first? Let's do. Let's just pick one. Let's do this one here. The black. Okay, so we got a black um, CDG box logo. Okay, so we got a nice Supreme retail bag, which is um, nice and stuff. And then we have the nice tag up here. I bought them in extra large. All of these t-shirts are in extra large. The reason I bought them is because they're Chinese size and stuff, so always best to go up. But let's get out of the bag. Right. Let's get this bag out of the way. I've got loads of these. I, I hate them. I really do hate them. But this is actually really, really nice. T-shirt feels really not all. The box logo is a bit... Um, box logo is actually really nice. It is a little bit... Um, it is a little bit crinkled, but I can iron that out and stuff. But as you can see, that is really really nice that box logo is really nice it's just a little bit crinkled but that's nice um let's go for the back of the shirt let's have a look down here yep yep seller is spot on with this t-shirt as you can see really really nice um it goes over the shirt this feels really really nice this t-shirt feels really nice actually um also does have a little tag down here um as you can see, Supreme New York, and it just says it's a hundred percent cotton. I don't think it is. It's probably some like Chinese, some Chinese shit. But that is really nice. It's a shame the box logo is a little bit crinkled, but that super one to one. I would say. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I recommend this tea. I think this was about twenty, twenty dollars, twenty three dollars. It's got the Dover Street Market as well. That is a really nice, really really nice. Yeah, that is really, really nice. That one, that one's a good one. Um, I obviously will do fit picks and stuff later on in this video. The next one, as we can see, is our Supreme and North Face collab. This is a Mountain Parker. I've been wanting one of these for ages now. Um, I could have bought a real one. I got a really good offer for about eighty pounds, I think, in the UK, which was super, super good. Um, but I got this for about twenty-three dollars. Um, but as you can see the tag, I don't know what the real tag looks like, but you've got the Supreme Little North Face thing here. You got some of the North Face tags and stuff. 
You also got a little Supreme Supreme tag on here, and then you got a standard North Face sportswear uh, outwear um, thing on. Having a look at the print on the front, oh, um, it's a the the, the side arm is a little bit crinkled. Like I said, it has been packed in, but that is side arm. Really, really nice that is. And then going on to this, that really nice. Moving on, we now have the white CGD, um, CGG box logo, which is where it started to go downhill. As you can see, the top box logo, absolutely perfect. Um, and let me get it out. We've got another retail Supreme bag. Don't care about that. But as you can see, we have a kind of a muck up here. So as you can see, there's meant to be a split, as you can see on there. But as you can see down here, we've got we've got half the R. We got that R. This week we got the same up there. I'm gonna try and fold over or maybe paint it. Yeah, may, maybe I could fold it. Yeah, maybe I could fold it over a little bit to try stitch it. But this is the one. This is the one that I'm really not happy with because we didn't actually agree on. This particular one, we agreed on the other one. We we agreed, and I have got messages if you guys want me to prove it, but we agreed on something like that. So it splits off the R, and then a tiny bit of the R goes on there. The seller has sent me half the R cut off, which is good, which is good, but then we've got like an extra cut off bit there, which is basically the same, which is not good. No, it's not good. It's not good. DHK um, hopefully will sort this out. Uh, the back though, absolutely amazing. You know, very very nice. I might, I could probably get away with it. Um, you know, I probably could just, I probably could just twist it a little bit more and maybe stitch it down or something. But that's something that I'm not really happy with, to be honest, as we didn't agree on it. Um, the seller will be in the link in the description. Each product will be in the link in the description. I obviously don't condone buying fakes or anything, but um, if you want to buy it, sure, go ahead. Next is going to be the Black Supreme Swarovski. Now, I haven't actually got this. Um, I never bought this from H for Hype as it was too much. Um, but we have our little Swarovski care instructions, which um, is exactly the same as the one from H for Hype. A nice bag, and we also get another stupid... <laughs> we get a small one this time. Okay, I don't think my t-shirt's going to fit in that. Um, and then, we have the nice t-shirt. Now, this is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Just look at that box logo for a minute. Look how nice that is. That's so clean. That's really, really nice. All in, the, all in nice order. Oh, the M is a bit weird, but that is super, super nice. I actually really like that. Um, it's got a nice price tag as well. It's got this weird Chinese thing, which is the same as one of them things. So we are going to cut this out because I am going to accept this T-shirt. Uh, this T-shirt is the one that I am going to accept. I might actually trade in the white one uh, for a... For a red one, because I was actually going to buy the red one, but I, I just never did. But, yeah, this this is really, really, really nice, this t-shirt. Let me just get the, get the little thing out. But this is really nice. You got the Swarovski thing on the back there. And you got a nice Supreme, Supreme tag with that. That is super nice. That box logo, as soon as I saw that, I knew that was literally one on one. That is so nice. So super, super clean. Let's get on to the final box logo, the one that I am dreading. So the box logo is is okay. It also comes with another one of these tags and stuff. I got I got a load of them. I don't need them. It also comes with another retail bag. Um But can you any anybody tell me what's wrong with this box logo? Anyone have a look? Well, the only thing that's actually wrong is there is, I'll record on my iPhone so you guys can see it. So now we've moved on to my iPhone. As you can see what I mean, I'm going to point out of my pencil. But for starters, look 
at them crystal placement there. That is not good, okay? And then, as you can see, there's like a little crystal missing there. There's crystals missing here and stuff. You know, around here, there's a crystal missing there. And it's just really, really not good. That crystal's not in line. Um, these ones are all right, but there's a little crystal missing there and stuff. And, you know, there's a line missing there. It's not too good. I mean, it is really, really nice of a way. And I, I mean, from this, from here, you wouldn't be able to tell, like, all the way up there, you wouldn't be able to tell. But if you go in, you can obviously see right there, there's the crystal, whatever that, or whatever that is there. And it just looks like he's missing little crystals and stuff. Um, yeah, it is a shame. It is a good overall t-shirt. Uh, it is really, really nice. Uh, there is also a little thing on the bottom. What I also did buy was... I also bought a very, very blingy um, golden diamond necklace. This was really, really nice. Um, but it broke. The thing completely broke, as you can see. You know, I really like this. I did get a refund on this. But as you can see, it was, you know, really, really nice and blingy. Um, I think it costed around... I think it was around £8 or around about $13. But this was really, really nice. Um, I am just going to keep it for, like, a decoration piece. But, you know, it was a really, really nice bling. But let's get into the fit picks. This is amazing. Look how, look how nice that is. Look how nice that bling is. That... Super, super nice. Swarovski one, definitely recommend this. You know, he did a fantastic sell on this one. This one fits a little bit tighter. Um, you know, it fits a little bit tighter around the waist. But other than that, it's actually really, really nice. It's a really, really nice print on here. You know, it's very clear. And I maybe give this... Um, maybe if there wasn't like a crinkle here. But I maybe give this maybe like a... 7 out of 10. The print is absolutely amazing. It's just a sizing. Um, yeah. It's good. This split box logo, the black one, looks actually really, really nice. Look how nice that looks. It does look really, really nice. Especially with um, how it's cut off and stuff. That looks really, really nice. What do you guys think? And then also, you've got the, um, the bit at the back, as you can see. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm not going to try on the white one, obviously, and I'm not going to try on the um, the white Swarovski because you know I don't want to wear them and stuff. I want to send them back, obviously, or whatever, whatever happens. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want me to do um, some more hauls and stuff from different companies, uh, smash the like button and tell me in the comments below. Also, if you do want me to um, do that. Um, be before before I obviously send send this one back, um, if you want me to compare this with my H for Hype one, smash a like and comment down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.